Most Blender car models look worse than how they should because many people are not aware about this tip. It's a very simple feature and I'm gonna show you how to apply it to your own models. Rest of the video that you're about to watch is an update video for my Blender Advanced Car Design course. And this year I'm gonna update both my Beginner's Blender and the Advanced Blender course. So you can purchase them today and start learning already and all the future updates will be free of charge. Let's jump into this fantastic trick that will help you with your car models. And I would like to say thank you, Christian, Christian Grajewski. A couple months ago, he showed me this trick and I love it. Custom orientation. It's very important. It helps a lot with the reflections. So let's jump into it. Here I have an ongoing project, a Porsche project. And there are some surfaces which are not so good, some curves which are not perfect. For example, here, I'm going to select this area and I'm going to hide the rest. And in this curve, for example, if I look from certain angles, I can see that it's doing some sort of a zigzag. Like here we go inside and then outside and then inside again. So I can try to fix it manually, but it might not be perfect or it would take a lot of time. One trick is you can go to orthographic view. It's generally better to give you this type of mistakes. So on orthographic, you can see it easier. It's more like in perspective, sometimes you might miss this kind of problems. So that's first thing, but more importantly, I want to create like a orientation now. Basically what we're going to do is I need to pick three points. Let's say the beginning, something in the middle and the end one. So I want to say that these three points will be my plane. Imagine a triangle created in between this three and then snapping all the other vertices on this face. If you are familiar with alias, it would be the construction plane. That's what we're going to do. But here it's called under this global orientation area, transform orientations. We're going to hit this little plus icon, create orientation. The default name is face and then the second one is face.001. So now we created the orientation and it's already selected. What does it mean? If I pick now all these vertices and hit S for scale, Z, Z for the Z axis, as you see the axis is now on this plane that we created. So if I hit zero on the numpad and on the correct angle, you can see that it is the totally flat plane. Okay, the it's hard to find the correct angle with the mouse, but it's totally flat. They all snapped to the same face. What does it do? It helps a lot with many reflections. Like sometimes this one little vertice somewhere, this one little vertex somewhere creates a problem with the reflections. But now, as you see, we have a perfect curve on this area. But what if you want to do another one? It's so easy. Let's go here. I will pick, for example, this set of vertices. I want them to be also correct. So I will hide everything else. If I go to side view, I already see that one is dipping down. But from different angles, maybe it's more than one vertice. And I don't know. And I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to pick one something in the middle and then the last one you are totally free you can also pick this first three to create the orientation but i'm gonna pick this three and then go to this transform orientations hit plus icon and the new one also is here now i can pick them all s z zero and with a slight change now you can see that they're all on the same plane let's say so i'm gonna unhide everything and it will have a better curve here definitely looks better this video is an update to the course and this model that i'm working on is kind of like a personal project ongoing and when it's finished of course i'm gonna upload it to this course you agree with me right it's a very simple but very effective trick and many more like this are in my advanced blender car design course you can check it out on my website and i hope to see you there